Hello! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Since I know you're enrolled with your research subject, you will undergo the three different stages for your research or levels in your research. So what are these? These are the level one, that's the title defense. The level two, that is your proposal defense, that's for your chapter one. And the final part is the final oral defense. And take note that the success of your level 2 and 3 is very much dependent on your success with your title defense. It is important to remember that for the title defense, you need to have a plan and you need to prepare. Uh, of course, and you need to make sure to, you, need, you need to have a guide. And during the preparation stage for your title defense, Ask yourself, ask your team members, what is your goal for this title defense? But I know, isn't it that our main goal for the title proposal is to have our title approved by our panel or jury? For the process, of course, you have to answer all the questions from your panelists, clear and very smart. And of course, also it should be convincing. And we need to strategize. How? by preparing. No one can beat a person who is ready and prepared, whether it would be a title defense, a research proposal, and a final defense. And on this learning vlog, we will talk about the second part of the possible questions that your panelists might ask you and some tips on how you can best answer these questions. And. Uh, since I, I ended up my previous vlog with number six, and le with that, let's continue with number seven. So the seventh possible question during your title hearing could be, what are your variables? Remember that we have dependent and independent variables. Check on your planned study or research and understand the title you are proposing, which is the dependent variable and which is the independent variable. With this question, it is important that you will clearly answer your panelists and clearly identify these two variables in your title. It is important to take note, again take this note, that independent variable is the cause while the dependent variable is the effect. The dependent variable is affected by whatever changes in your independent variables. Now let's proceed to the eighth possible question. What findings or results do you intend to gather? Definitely, by the time you enrolled with your research, you have already created plans in your head as to who will be your members in your team or in your group, what title of your research would you like to work on, and of course, you have also drafted, maybe in your head, possible results on this title that you're planning to conduct as a research. Not only results, but of course, findings as well. With this question, the panelist is giving you the opportunity, the chance to explain at the same time, to wake you up if that title you are proposing really needs to be conducted into research. Or if the answers to these questions you wanted to find out based on your title is already available and doing research maybe is not needed at all. Because if that's the case, your title is in a bigger percentage that it will be disapproved. You should convince the panel by explaining the needed scientific processes or procedure to gather the data for the title or topic you are proposing. Now let's proceed to number nine. There are several related studies that have been conducted already. Why are you still proposing this title? Take note that your panelists have been engaged maybe with research for quite some times and they are very much aware of the different studies conducted in your school, in the country, and even abroad because they keep on reading. With this question, you must give a very smart and again, 
convincing answer. You cannot just simply answer the panel and sasabihin ninyo, kasi ito po yung may maraming reference. Because there are lots of reference for these studies. Tungod kay daghan man ni sir, ma'am, ang references. The best way to answer this question is by pointing out or highlighting the value and the uniqueness of your proposed title compared to those similar studies. You can also discuss the difference of the time frame by comparing the situation before and now or the present situation and doing the research gap. And presenting that research gap will also help and it will help a lot to convince your panelists to approve or say yes with the title that you are proposing. Now let's move on to number 10, 10 question. What is the essence of your proposed study? With this question, you can answer your panelists, what is the significance of your study? The best contribution that only your study can give? How can this contribute to the body of knowledge? How can this uh, help solve a problem in the community? Things of the peculiarity and the uniqueness of your study and the best possible results that only your study can give. Take note that your panelists might not be able to see the beauty and importance of your study. But when you explain and discuss it to them, that's the time that you are giving clarity as if you are opening their mind and making your panelists be interested with the study you are proposing. This will be the convincing points for your panel to approve with your proposed title. Because most of the time, what is in your mind is different from what is on the mind presently of your panelists. That's why you should discuss your title and everything and even the answers clearly with clarity. Number 11 question. Who will be your respondents? If you're not ready with this type of question, you will surely have a difficult time constructing and delivering a very good and convincing answer. As you draft and finalize your title, titles or title, it is good to think ahead and that includes planning who will be your respondents and better if you can give them a heads up right away by telling them that are, you are considering them to be your respondents. If in case your research title will be approved, contact them or communicate with your possible respondents ahead of time. Don't wait for your research professor or advisor or instructor to tell you what to do next. Take note, he or she is not only attending to your research group, but the rest of the groups. Take initiative and always thank sorry, think ahead so that when the question will be thrown to you during the title hearing, you are more than ready to answer your panel. Now let's move to the last or lastly, the, the, the 12th question. If approved, how long will it take for you to finish your research or this research? This is a scenario question. The panelist is giving you the opportunity again to explain and to convince them that you are ready and you have set plans for this based on the title that you are proposing. It will be disappointing that in front of your panel, dun mo palang iisipin or dito pa ka maghuna-huna, unsan kadugayon, how long will it will this take for you to finish the research? In answering this question, you should not only answer how many months will it take for you to finish the research, but you have to explain as well why would it take that long? Why three months? Why five months? What plans do you have? Like what will be your weekly accomplishment or monthly accomplishment? Best if you can present your calendar of activities covering the duration for you to finish that research based on that title that you are proposing. You must be able to showcase that you made some planning. You have to let your panelists feel that you are more than eager to start and what is only lacking is their yes or their approval. And uh, it, this is the last part of the two learning videos on the possible questions and on how you will answer your panelists the best way during your title hearing or your title proposal. I hope 
you have learned something from this learning video. And I hope and pray as well that this video will help you a lot. There, there will be more learning videos related to research. That's why you have to make sure that you are subscribed on my YouTube channel. Click the notification bell for you to be notified whenever I have or we have a new video for you. Enjoy learning. Ingat.